Okay, welcome back. So, um, in between the stop and start, I did finish clearing all this out. There was nothing um, important gained by anything. There is some informational stuff, like we, you know, they're, they're keeping track of the train reproductive rates. You can see, like, this map up on the wall. You know, showing the Trang, and then that's them, and then this is where the Ray Packs are. So, it's just informational, thematic stuff. And of course, this jerk is now in my way. The only way you can get him out of your way is to rest. Yes. I am ready. I understand. There we go. All right. Look at that. We spotted something. Look at that. Spotted something again. Those muskets will sell for some decent money. General is in here. Can you see who that is? Well, it sure is good to finally meet your team. I can't tell you all the good words that have been filtering upstairs. That's why I asked for you. We've got an important mission. A tough one. It takes place in Beijing. A few weeks ago, we sent a troop there. But they haven't come back. I need you to go to Beijing and find my men. Get them out of there. And I know you're eager. But this is not an exploration mission, understand? Get in, get out. You head on over to Rubble at UTU training for the prep you'll need. And soldiers, bring my boys back home. <clears throat> so to get to Bajin, we're gonna have to go underwater. Now we have a level six security pass. So, uh, we can ask him a few questions. Again, I don't know. Like the dark savant. Well, well, well. He's a, that's where we have to hit him. I'll say it. I am not fond of military men. They have no sense of humor. Au revoir. All right. So, just to orient you, there's a big battle going on there. Um. The water caves here. So if I head down to this area, uh, Rubble is going to be there for the quest. He'll direct us to the water caves and there's going to be scuba gear. And you literally go underwater and scuba dive. I do not want to do that at this point. Um, we're not ready to go to Beijing or any of that stuff. So what I'm going to do instead you bellowed. we're going to bounce a bit. We're going to return to portal now that we set this portal to here Look and then that creature. we're going to bounce back to there okay and then we're going to go back across the bridge so we're in this area we're going to go across the bridge and the place we want to go to is over here we're going to exit the map that way. I'm pretty sure this is the right area. I could be wrong. But I think this is what we want to do. We'll go along the, the river here. It looks pretty violent. It is pretty cool though. And they always have a way. Like if you fall down into that sucker, like how do you get back out? 
I don't know the answer to that question, but they always have a way. There's some creatures. I'm gonna let my stamina restore. That's what I get for running everywhere. And then this is actually a lake, which is interesting. Let's There's get them, guys! Emerald slime coming up on us. I'm on it. Pretty pretty easy. Or slimes in the water. Looks like a challenge. Black slimes. I don't remember fighting them I'm at all. I'm on it. So let's assume the worst. Right then. All right. I understand. Looks like they're gonna be. Giving us diseases. Ooh. That was a lot of damage. With pleasure. That is so. Damage. Lead him on, Rasty. Go, Shulebrand. All right. I understand. Exterminate. That is great relief. That way is gone. Got the wine. It's always good. Victory! That's interesting. I never fought them before. I see something. <clears throat> so yeah, this island has a whole bunch of goodies on it. It's just a regular shield. I think those are well, shrike arrows. We'll take those. Some chain. And a book of frost, which is a really low level book that I don't think anybody can use. Yeah. So, a lot of goodies, but they were crappy goodies. A votre service. But this is the general direction we need to go. This is what I'm concerned about. I think I may have made a mistake. Because this goes to the... Uh, forgive me. I'm gonna go look at our maps here. Here we go. So, we need to look at the wilderness maps. Currently, we're in the northern wilderness. This is where we are now. So, we're heading to the mountain wilderness which is the wrong place. This is the mountain. Um, that's Ascension Peak where the end game is. There's powerful creatures on this trail that'll just completely wipe us. So we're in the wrong spot. 
So my apologies there. Um, we need to go to the southeast wilderness, I think. Yes. This is where we need to go, because we're looking for the unholy cathedral. And guess what it's next to? The swamp. So we were already there. Um, the wilderness clearing, by the way, is this, which is one thing, but eventually it becomes the Rapax Away Camp. So it's the same exact map, but now the Rapax have taken it over. So this happens whenever they form an alliance with the Dark Savant. I don't know what the trigger is to make that happen, but you can theoretically go to this area before that happens, and it's a completely different map. So my situation is, yeah, I got this marble golem. I guess we can try to finish him. Sure, let's fight this jerk. I understand. I'm on it. Right then. All right. Nothing to fight. Okay, let's try again. I'm on it. I understand. All right. Right then. You guys are good. 14k for that. Oh, at least the Guardian's dead. Um, we could go into the mountain region, but it's not worth it. So, I am returning to Fort Ole again. I'm ready for you. We might as well get our magic back. You bellowed? sick of casting the spells all the time just for the sake of making the skills go up there is um, there is a way for you to edit your character and basically make it so they're at you know 100 fire skill 
So, yeah, it does mean you're going to be able to cast all your spells at full strength. And, you know, there's hardly anything to it. But you can... You can, uh... Remove the uh, need to, you know, constantly train your skills up. Now, one thing that I, I think I experienced with this game is I have dabbled with that, but then what ends up happening is you get so bored. Um, Behold a creature. It's it's a fine balance because the game is annoying from the perspective that um, you know you have to do all these things. But then it gets boring if you take too much of those things away. So that's where the balance part comes in. And I can't really suggest to you like what the, the right line is, but <clears throat> I don't know. Um, if you're getting towards the late game and you still only have 30 skill in something, you can crank it up. Uh, one of the things I know I've been tempted to do is to just crank up my alchemy. So that way, I can finally make the potions and stop carrying around all these bags of things. And this is definitely where I need to go. So, I'm just gonna let the stamina come up. Yes. Ah, damn it! Okay, so there's something there that we could potentially fight. It's gone. Alright, so we are whatever it is, it's here. Um, <clears throat> this is a trail that goes to a temple. It winds around and around and around. There's going to be a lot of battles before you even get to the temple. You could also go to the right here, and that also takes you to the temple. Um, it's not just one way. But we're gonna go ahead and take the trail. Why not? The only good news about the trail is that the enemies are coming from one direction only, so the pierce or the cone spells are really handy. And you can just see, look at how many enemies are showing up. I mean, they're, they're everywhere, and they're usually the wasps. Oh, these things aren't horrible. Ah, um, on this map, get in the right swing of casting uh, these shields, All which right. boost your um, your resistances. Almost everything in this map um, will do something that will um, either do elemental damage to you, which is what he casts, or mental or divine damage to you, which is what she casts. That'll get your resistance up. These guys are more straightforward than most of the other ones on the encounter. See? They're not too bad. Instruction confirmed. experience that wasn't too bad we're gonna run into him again though right here six 
1,500 more. I remember going into this pagoda and just being attacked again and again and again. Alright, so, bagpipes. These are like the bagpipes of pandemonium, I think. More ammunition. It's largely because they know you need it. And the fact that there's only one group of creatures coming at us, it's amazing. Like I said, I was just being attacked again and again. But, let's... Yeah, they cast Pandemonium. It is a level 7 spell. So, the bard can do it at Magic 70, or Music 75. Disorder and Bedlam are on the agenda. It's a violent uproar causing at minimum fear and possibly insanity in nearby opponents. I can tell you it's very hit and miss. Like this one just does insanity, so this is just an upgraded version of that. Now, her music's not high enough to use it yet, but it is what it is. I never used the other one anyways. So, funny how the difference the game makes. Now, this here is just an open field, but if I take you down far enough, there's a cave here. And this cave takes you to the other side. <coughs> so remember, I said we went left and took this trail and went to here. Um, if you would have gone right, it winds around and then eventually you can go through a cave and then you come out here. So there's two ways to get here. That was just another way and then actually there's enemies at the pagoda we were just at. So we're gonna run into them. There they are. The chase begins. I understand. Get some of that out. I don't want to use my big spells. Right then. All right. Tento wasps. Exterminate. <laughs> Yeah, guys. Taken care of. All right. With pleasure. Let's do. Let's do an ice ball. Right then. Doesn't have to be the highest level. <laughs> Putting her to sleep. Not good. My soul. Okay, so her Valkyrie skill saved her from death. So that's something. Destroy. 
Frank. Well. Fourteen thousand is respectable. À votre service. Okay, so what we want to do is get on this trail, and this actually goes up to the Unholy Temple. Now this Unholy Temple is, in my opinion, the second or third toughest battle in the game. Um, arguably, some people might even put it at the top. It all depends on how prepared you are. Um, how do you prepare for something like this? Well, you need the Soul Shield and Elemental Shield, for sure. Uh, beyond that, you're gonna have to get a little cheesy uh, with the battles. You're gonna have to take advantage of them. Better look this way. They have no. Like, I don't know. If, yeah. This is All interesting. Right. I understand. We're gonna get a lot of this. We're gonna fight mages just like this, uh, and then some undead ones. They're all super powerful. So what I'm going to do is go here. This is what I mean by cheese the game. So we're going to make them walk towards us. With pleasure. Hear their little footsteps. You can see them coming in on the map. And I'm not doing anything. I'm just going to wait. That is great relief. One less plague to worry All about. Right. That plague then we is look gone. Back up. Instruction confirmed. I do have the silent. I can't see them though. All right, let's see what we can do. the cheese works. Okay, so this temple is filled to the brim. I, I am not kidding. Ten creatures. And then they, many of the mages are going to summon elementals, so then it turns into twenty. Um, running outside and hiding here feels like it's going to work, right? So then you can filter them so they come to you. They end up attacking you through the wall. Um, there's some undead guys that can attack through the wall, so um, it's actually very, very challenging. I can't stress that enough. So we are going to absolutely save this game. And we have all of our buffs up that we can do. You can see just how many... Now one of the things we can do is steal this. That is the Lazarite Stone. And I believe bear with me here. Let's see weapons. Here we go. What uses the Lazarite stone? Just looking up my um that plus electrodes makes a heal all. That's a... we already have one, but you can never have too many of those. So, let's get our Gadgeteer, combine this with one of those. Excellent! And... Ah, a treasure beyond compare. So now we got a regenerating stone. So we got another heal all spell, which is good. Um, you never have too many of those. Okay. Obviously, I didn't do this battle with a gadgeteer last time. I'm gonna save it again. Um, also, another trick: the trick of starting the combat and then moving into the area. I didn't know about that trick before. I always moved into the area and then had to deal with compact get, getting triggered. Um, in a different set of terms. So, how helpful is it? I don't I know. We're going to find out. I My only promise to you is this is going to take several tries. I don't think I'm going to get this on the first try. What's our enemies? There's two giant undead knights. That's the best way I can describe them. 
they cast these spells that just kill you outright. I mean, if you fail the check, you die. So we're going to have deaths happening everywhere. Um, next thing is those uh, those little lady mages that we fought. Um, there's like arch mages, like a higher, much higher version of them. There's five or six of them in there, along with those skeletons. And then all of them are going to be attacking us. And they're going to be just jamming spells. The biggest issue we have is I can't cast Soul Shield or Elemental Shield until battle starts. So the trick for me is I want to trigger the battle, like throw a fireball in there or something, right? And then I want to hide behind this wall initially, get my shields up, and then I want to run out into this field out here uh, and force them to come out of the temple. And then just sort of take them off one by one as they come out of the temple. That's ideally what you want to do. And if you can get half the group to come out and the other half to stay in, that's even better. Because then you're dividing and conquering. You can defeat one group, rest, recover, etc. So, um... And no, I can't run in and actually hit them. They're too far away. So, let's, um... Let's just show you what it looks like. So, More beasts. combat's already this started. Fight will be a little bit hard, yeah. right? Sorceress Queen, two Death Lords, and six cultists. So, six, seven, eight, nine people. Um, and the Sorceress Queen and the cultists will all summon elementals and the whole nine yards. So, it's bad. There's no arguing with that. So, what I'm going to do is, of course, we need to get I out understand. of here. We need to go hide behind the wall again. Um... We're gonna get our spells I understand. at least set. Obviously, once we start moving, sometimes those spells don't happen. I'm on it. And this does work, but we don't want to use it right now. I am gonna do a level All two right. soul shield. It means it just lasts longer. This is gonna take many turns. So I don't want these to run out right while then. we're in the middle of battle. Um what do I got for choices here? You can pray that that works. It usually doesn't. The holograph projector actually is a really good idea. Um, we'll put that on our priest. Taken care of. She's the one with all the resurrection stuff. Um, So, here we go. So, them buffing themselves is the best thing that can happen to us right now. These things. Yeah, you see, they're already summoning their elementals. Ah, more food. <laughs> of course. The enemy the is without out. end. They're just casting elemental, elemental, elemental. There came the fireball. They tried to freeze us. It worked. Alright, so now we can finally move out of the way. So if I move over to here, those fireballs and stuff won't hurt us anymore. But now you can see some of the spells aren't going to happen. We've got this up. Both of those were the most important. Okay, um, what's next? Obviously, we need this person to shake this off. Uh, we can try Cure Lesser Condition. I uh, highly doubt that's going to work, but we'll do that. Um, I want to summon my Elemental. It's only a power level 2. This is a very weak Elemental, but we're going right to do it. Then. And what do I do here? Holy water is actually very helpful. I just can't... See, I can't cast through the wall. 
So the best I can do is All right. that. Now let's make sure we wait to walk so they can move towards us. So you're going to hear a pitter-patter of feet. Because they're all moving towards us. Even more. The enemy is with us. And more. Now, is when they do these casting, making these things? they're not moving, so they're still way back in the beginning of the temple. So you can sort of like keep a mental tally of how many of these cultists are moving forward. All right, so let's get some of our spells out of the way. I'm not going to move. We got our haste. We got our elemental up. That was them. That was them casting Death Wish on us. Did you see that? Um, so our soul shield protects us from that. So what I'm going to do is we're going to use our gadgets here Take him down. to heal everybody. Because look, we're all... We all took damage from those fireballs. So we're going to kill everybody with the gadgets here, and then we're going to... Since the Volcrane was able to go, we're going to get Bless going. I'm going to... do a rest all. all right. Get our stamina up. I still don't know what to do with him. Mm-hmm. Magic missiles are effective against these guys. This is not a bad idea. So they're gonna have to walk through. Right then. Okay. If we hang around this wall too much, those death lords, like I said, they can they cast that um that death wish. Did you notice it went right through the wall? So they don't even have to see us and they can cast that. So we gotta be really careful how long we, Taken care we of. linger here. So they just cast a firestorm. Cloud. See, because he's in their, their view, they're just casting spell after spell. And we just got blasted with all these lingering effect things. So that was probably not a good idea to put our elements in there. So I don't think there's any advantage to getting in the way. I'm gonna wait one more time. This might be a bad idea. They're they're casting it against him and we're just in the range. We're just getting blasted. stupid move on my part. They're also not pitter-pattering their feet. Because they're totally satisfied with just shooting him. And that's what it's like when you run into the room. Ay ay ay. Failed? Oh, she failed at her. That. I think it's the enemy is without end. Serious internal error. Okay, so we took a lot of damage because our jerk. I understand. Gadgeteer, the regenerating stone Take didn't work. Aye, aye, aye. Well, the good news is they're not going to be casting their fireballs right now. Oh, I didn't get the walk. Dang it. So here we got. We're 
healed. You can hear the pitter patter of the feet. They're coming. So that elemental idea was the right idea, wrong placement. You see, all three of these are going to damage us every round. We basically have the worst. That play is gone. Oh, boom, boom, boom. Chase we just got a bunch of damage. All right. So I'm basically relegated to casting rest. Um, let's get taken care let's of. Let's get a run in place. I don't know what to cast. I really don't. Because I don't know how close they are. I don't know if I should charge in. There's a whole bunch of cuts in there if I do. So let's let's just Netflix and chill this thing. What a pity. And there it is. My one guy with res died. We're gonna load again. Okay, let's try. A votre service. Let's try again. Alright, I'm gonna start combat. We're gonna walk into I that understand. room. We're going to cast Element Shield. Right then. Level two. Soul shield. Level All two. right. Bless. Level three. I'm on it. Browsing drums. I understand. Holograph projector. Taken care of. And this is the part where I can't see in the room, so I don't know. RFS-81 detects hostile being. Now, one thing that I am considering, if I could get behind this pillar, then, you know, I'm out of their sight. I don't think I can make it there unless I'm running. There's a pillar here, but see, I can't get behind that. It's... Ugh. These things are everywhere! Yeah, that was a bad move. All right, let's do a run right instead. Right there. Here they come. I have some. More already. Here it comes. The soul shield's necessary to prevent them from dying. And even with the soul shield, you saw that people die. It's the most annoying thing about this battle, is he basically casts something and you roll dice, and if you roll some zeros, you're automatically dead, and there's nothing you could have done to stop it. So... <clears throat> if I could... So obviously we got the battle. I could try to do it again, but this time run. Instruction confirmed. And get behind the corner. It might work. I've never actually taken. Well, I've tried the strategy of charging them. It doesn't work. The strategy of running away and luring them out does better. 
as long as you don't cast an elemental right next to you as you're hiding behind a wall. Um, this, I'm going to do level like 3 even, because we, we just, the higher level doesn't make it stronger, but it, it just oh, lasts right. longer. That part, I can't stress enough. I'm on it. I understand. Taken care of. I'm assuming I'm going to take some damage, so I'm going to do a heal all. And then while I'm here, the thing is, is I'll probably run away before I actually get to do it. That's not going to work. That would work. Because I can cast it deep. Three of us are paralyzed. still in place for those who can cast them. It seemed the where are all these things? Where are all these things? More already. It seemed <laughs> just casting more and more. So it means that the cultists aren't the turning forward. Without They're all staying back. The death lords relief. themselves are I am recovery. I have recovered. Alright, so we can we're gonna get our Dulcimer a mesh bending going. We'll be able to maybe single out a death lord and kill him before the others. Um I am going All to pray, right. and then let's um let's get our elemental. But this time, maybe not be so dumb about it. Right there. Put him behind us. And oh yeah. I understand. Yep. There's a guy getting close. Wherever he is, he's right there. He's coming around this side. And a lot of these are moving forward now. Because once the cultists cast these things, they can only control one each. So then they have no choice but to move forward. Alright, so we could move, but I'm going to sit tight. Because I want to get my spells going. Get ourselves and get the elemental going. Alright. And now, I understand. we are for sure going to do this. Definitely want to do that. I don't know what to do for him. So. Nauseous fumes is not a bad idea. Insane. So that's 
one nice thing. See, everybody's casting shells on him instead of us. We want to get away from him, though. Since he's insane, he might attack us. And it looks like he's over here now. So he must have walked around the other way. Oh, he's right here. There's right here. Oh, I'm sorry. Look at him. Oh, he went inside. He's where that dulcimer thing was. Uh, that's not going to be easy. Well, we definitely gotta get away from him because he'll pass through the wall. Oh Master gosh. creature detected here. Yeah, this is gonna be bad. Team making these things. All right. Well, here's the good news. We can drop that there. We don't have to worry about their armor too much. It's a question of do I want to do a piercing pipe attack? Yeah, I let's understand. Do that. This is good. Death Lords are the number one threat. You can see everybody's moving towards us here. Piercing Pike barely did any damage. We got a battle going on out there. You can see there's several of them. So it's full health though. The creature crept toward them. Most tips travel the most. I did this battle, I didn't have a, a mage with a full strength fireball. So right let's then. get that going. Obviously, it won't damage any fire elementals. You can see there's no fire elementals here, so that works. And I think we do want to just keep Taken healing. care of. Outside, so they're gonna come in behind me. We're gonna get the same. Yeah, it's not good. Oh no, it's the 
fireball's not doing as much damage because we've got the element shield up. They do too, though. See that? Those things above them, that's their element shield. So our fireball's not going to damage them as much either. out. So I probably should try to move. If I can also get behind this wall, then these guys won't be able to attack me. I just don't know if I can. And I also think they're going to get to go over we do. Well, let's do it. Yeah, the sorcerer's queen. No way. No way, no. idea. Too many at once. Right then. All right. I'm on it. I understand. Taken care of. With pleasure. for the worms! Ah! Ah! Okay. One guy paralyzed. Not the worst. Definitely took a lot of damage. That's okay. We're gonna move 
to here for now. Let's see if we can get our spells in. This is good. We got all of our spells in that we wanted to do. So now... I actually don't know. Yeah, we're going to do a rest all. No, we're going to do a stamina. It's only on right. that person. And... I understand. Reason, the haste didn't go in. Some, I must have done a heal all instead of haste with that one. Which is fine, because we got a heal all going over here. I'm going to move that back to just shoot your gun. And then, yeah, we're going to... Let's put some nauseous fumes as far right in there. there as we can. And then I wait. understand. That's them marching to us. These things are everywhere. These things are everywhere. The enemy is without end. Is there a machine making these things? The enemy is without end. Second, I gotta pause. My apologies. Okay, I am back. Let's get back. Sorry, I had to pause again. <clears throat> okay, so they're asking us to move. I'm gonna sit tight. That spells, I don't think it lingers. Painfully searing their lungs. Yeah, it's just a one time. Alright, so now we got another round. We sort of have a sense of how close they are. There's one guy here. The rest of them are still pretty far away. All right. So we're gonna for sure do that. Sure. We'll just keep casting something out there. I think for now I wanna sit tight. Um, it wouldn't hurt to get a guardian angel up. Do a level four on the bar. Right. Let's have this one do a guardian angel. Taken care of. Let's go. Yeah, see, there it is. That's the dude we want to kill right there. He is super close. Everything else you can see, they're still fairly far away. This x-ray is actually helpful. Now you can see the other one is here. We want to kill both of those guys. There is a banish spell, but we don't have it yet. It does work wonders. The holy water works against the death lords. It works against the cultists. Right, we want to move up just enough to get the daily range. And the crap out of this guy. Got 400 health. Katralana! More 
already. Okay. This is a perfect chance to do turn right. undead. I got both of the undead in front of me. Uh, I actually like those. We just want to pound. It's ground pound time. Now the question is, what can we cast that's actually going to damage them? The magic missiles. Well, you know what? We should summon our elemental. What is it? Right there. Cast them behind us. They have um elemental shield. So whoever spell I cast, it's not going to do that much damage to them. But let's go. Destroy. We need to hit them. 26. 26. Come on. Get one of them down. We can even try to run away and just start the battle again after we rest and recover. Just killing one of them is a big victory. survived it. He just cast Death Cloud. That's the RNG thing. Always a difficult one. cast like the fireball and all that stuff. Uh, our fireball spell could hurt him. It has 93 health. For him. Oh, 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 this is getting I understand. Right, run. More already. I understand. Let's heal. I'm not going to get to cast it. Right there. Go ahead and do that. Oh, Prayer. opportunity to kill one, but two of my guys died. Those jerks. Alright, we gotta get out of here. I find it's best to run for the hill here, because they have to, like, shoot down the angle and they're fighting the water elemental so in the meantime I still don't have the resurrect spell oh, so right. I gotta get this going yeah let's get some heals in not much else I can do they will come after us So we gotta get ready. And see, they just killed my elemental already. They're coming, I heard the footsteps. 
I had him coming down and around the corner. Now, one thing I did wisely do is I have resurrection powder with my fighter. With pleasure. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna do a rest all. All right. To get stamina recovered. And it's gonna put us in walk mode in case we need to retreat around the corner. And summon another elemental. This time in front of us. Right then. Oh man. That's a perfect opportunity to kill these two. I don't know why the rest all spell didn't cast. All well, because I moved forward just a little bit. Um, we gotta get some heals in. Taken care of. Damage as much of those as we can. Yeah, we gotta get the stamina up. With pleasure. All right. See, this guy's unconscious. Healing is parallel. Oh. We're gonna die. Oh. Thank goodness that's good. Oh. Feel like myself again. Oh. Died again. We prop body against the tree and the man. Taken care of. I understand. Sorcerer's cream interview. Get out of it. Those fireballs that they're shooting at that are hurting us, but not it. Alright, so let's get around the corner here. There we go. That leg is gone. Oh, that. Oh. Alright, let's get. We've used oh, three right. resurrection powders. We got the healing going. Ay ay ay. Their fire elementals are defending. Okay, we did the healing. Rebooting systems. So they're doing no damage to the elemental. They're, they're casting um, fireball spells against our elemental, and we have a fire elemental, so it's not doing any actual damage. Okay, let's Taking keep the down. heals coming. We absolutely need to get this rest all, all right. to trigger. We have people unconscious because they... Ooh, they did 65 damage to our elemental. There we go. The 
is good. That leg is gone. We just don't want to be up there for those fireballs. They are going to kill our elemental at some point. But we're no longer unconscious. We're going to I heal. Understand. And heal again. Taken care of. And then we're going to rest again. All right. Everybody else is just resting. I Taken am going to put it into walking mode just because. I have a feeling our... There they come. Here they come. Killing her is going to be a great accomplishment. There we go. We don't have our elemental shields up. So we don't have anything up anymore. I should have realized that fight was taking so much damage. The enemy is with us. Alright, so this is a problem. Alright, let's get. This is imperative. We gotta get All our soul right. shield up. We gotta get our element shield. <gasps> right then. We have no stamina on either of these guys. So let's just attack. Taken care of. Right then. We'll try it. There we go. We got the, another big one. That's a huge kill. Right there. So we got one of the Death Lords. See, they're constantly shooting fireballs at our fire. Which does no damage. That is great relief. That and look, plague we actually gone. killed the enemy cultists. is without end. Alright, so we got our we're mostly up. Uh we do need to do some healing still. So, I'm going to do the healing with my own heal all spell. All right. Right then. And we'll put it in water mode. We're going to let's shoot him from down here. Would never end. We're gonna do ice ball. Since there are a bunch of fire elementals up there. Right then. And we need I bless understand. Again. That's our own person. We're hitting our own, our own person when we do that. There we go. Yeah, we're hitting the wrong person. This is not a 
good idea. There we go, we got there. Already? Right then. Right then. All right. Yeah, see you. Oh, they cast a spell on me and it backfired. There's a cultist still up there somewhere. The battle would dead. never end! I'm on it. Remember, there's another Death Lord up here somewhere. He's not showing up in the list. See that? I, there, it's a fantastic spell. <laughs> and not only because he was cannon fodder, right? So he was absorbing all these hits from them, and it allowed us to pick off the the smaller prey. Another light crossbow. Never argue with that. Okay, so I still don't know what to do because right there is the thing. Um, we are really low, so what I want to do is, let's do a Stamina, that's going to cost 12 points, 14 points. Oh, stamina. Right. I'm just going to, we're just going to sit back. See what comes. <laughs> Same exact spell. All right. Let's just get everybody rested up a little bit before we go in. Because running out of stamina in the middle of a battle is never good. And then it looks like and then now we win. Alright. So 60 grand, battle's over. Safe. That dude we want to kill is right there. So we can get everything up. We can walk right up to here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit start combat. And let's run in. I understand. Oh no. I'm stuck. Spent way too many points. Attack! Alright! I actually don't know what. We right heard then. him, but we'll do all those. part. Identify. It's a giant sword. It can be used by any of these classes, but it can only be used by a mook. It's an extended two-handed weapon with a strength of plus five, and it does nine to thirty-three damage. It is quite good. So, just to put it in perspective, um, we have a ten to thirty-two, 
19 to 69. So, and a 110% bonus. So the initiative is lower, but that's fine. So, and he's going to do two attacks, one swing each. It's really good. Um, you know, and we actually have two of them. So each of the the dark death lords dropped one. So there's now two of these. And you might be wondering, well, wasn't there other guys in here? They were the elementals, which were summons. So as soon as that first battle ended, the summons disappeared. So we're going to do that. And let's get their carry capacity up. If, if they can't carry things, it just slows them down and they lose their initiative to cast their spells and stuff. And that sort of became a factor in that last battle. Um, I have no idea. I don't necessarily want any of these. So yeah, I'll hold on to my points. Power cast. Let's get fire. That's as high as I'm going to be able to pump into fire, which is fine. And then this is for the, um, the elemental spell. We just want to get that up as much as we can. And then here, get our intelligence up. I'm going to do the same. Strength will directly contribute towards carry capacity the most. We're doing good. Don't need any of those. Can't even put any more points in there. So we're going to get one more. Max that out. Let's get the water magic up. And then, like I said, the fire. Uh, there's a level 7 spell that uses fire. That's the reason why we're bumping it up. because. Um, otherwise, the light spell is all we got. And I have two more points still. So we're going to put that into air. And yeah, we're going to save again. We're not done. There's more stuff in here. Um, lots of loot. And then there is actually some more battles to be... to happen. And if I cast X-Ray, you'll see... You can see there's some some mobs over here. And I, all this white stuff should be it's treasure. So the x-ray is even showing us where all the loot is. So we got a metal belt used by the gadgeteer. And let me look. What does that do? The metal belt goes with an electrode to make an invigorator belt Superman with only one charge. So it's not the... Not the best in the world, but we'll, we'll do it. Electrode, Electrode, where are you? Excellent! So... Oh, actually that's not a one cat, that's all the time. So we could just cast Superman over and over again. Now what this does is this increases all the stats of one character. It's not a horrible thing. Definitely better than Porta Potty. Or that. Anyways. We got more stuff. Took an unidentified powder, which is probably the pandemonium power. There we go. We got some resurrection powder back. I don't know where that went. It's probably down here. went into my inventory. We're going to give some back to the fighter again. And then here's a spell book. How much you want to bet this is one of the return books that I was telling you about? Oh no. Banish. Which is the exact spell we needed. 
So it is a level six spell, um, specifically for the priest. I can't do level six spells, but basically, uh, Book of Banishing um, is uh, well. Here, you can read it. Using Banish, the caster summons divine energy to cause all undead, demonic, and summoned creatures to take damage. So that would have been pretty handy. Leave it to an RPG game to give you exactly what you need after you've killed everything that you needed it for. Eh, we're not done. We're going to run into a lot more demonic and other things. So yeah, this, um, it's a very tough battle, as you saw. We were definitely able to handle it. At what level were we? Level 13-ish. It's doable. You have to definitely take advantage of the terrain. And, um, there's some good loot in here. Very good loot. And that giant sword is going to be our sword until probably the end of the game. I don't think we're going to find better. So... We are going to put it to some use right down here. Get some mummies, but some of these are like Loot really powerful. Let battle be. All right. I'm on it. Right then. All right. I understand. You're going to come around behind. Catch it. Mark hit for 82 damage. He was doing what? 40? 50? 50 on a good day? 30 to 40 average? He just hit for 82. Then what's even crazier is see how this guy moved away from us? This is extended reach. Sort of like the, the pole arm. He's able to hit from more than one space away. So we don't even have to be next to him. And he can hit him. So... Really, really good. We are going to do a holy water here. All right. And we'll try to fire a uh, We do have this jerk behind us. And that is the boss. So we gotta be mindful of that, but let's finish off what we can. <laughs> Taken care of. And then, let's see. Right then. All right.
So I got a little too, I think I got way too much ammunition in my inventory. I am hurting. Okay, that is an excellent helm. We're gonna have to identify some of this stuff. And then this right here is an excellent shuriken. There's so many good things here. That sword is good. Yeah, all this is good. And then we can even open this. Or at least I thought we could. Nope. Okay, um... Let's do some identifying here. So this is a boomerang shuriken. Basically, it throws forever and it never runs out of supply. It just goes right back to the owner. So, um, never runs out of supply. And yeah, you can throw two different things. So he'll never need ammunition again. Back up to the top. That's going to be for building items. Let's see if Lazy Bum can Damn it. identify any of these. Damn it. Crusader Helm. This is actually one of the weaker ones, but the first of the good helms. There's, what I mean is there's better ones. No, I'm afraid not. And we're already out of spell points. So we're going to go ahead and rest. Let's try again. Mail plus three. Not bad at all. Plate mail plus three. Fang. Now this is a sword that my samurai, who was dual wielding swords, I used this until the end of the game with my samurai. This is an excellent sword. Strength plus ten. Um, it might actually be good enough to replace the bloodlust for the bard. And that'll allow the bard to use the double shot crossbow. And yeah, let's just identify a few more no, things here. I'm afraid not. Alright, so let's try. Uh, first things first. This is just a remove curse. So we can get rid of that. I forgot to check. It was somewhere around 30 damage. Let's see. 21 to 50. Way better. The only difference is this is double damage. This won't be. But that's way better. Fang is a great sword. Um, and then there's a 10% chance of insta-kill. Which makes it even better. So, Bloodlust did its job. 5 to 13. Uh, the Berserk, of course, made it go double. 10 to 24. This is double damage without needing the curse. So now that I don't have the curse, I can take the double shot crossbow, equip it, and then help get rid of <laughs> all this ammunition that everybody's that we're toting around. It's causing all of our inventory. So we got all these arrows. So we can keep this guy focused on the arrows. I don't think Splodied. Oh, we can learn some of these spells. Splodied. Okay, that was excellent. Don't have a better word for it. Still carrying too much ammo, but that's okay. We can just sit far away and pluck some people and let the ammo fly. All right, this is called the Unholy Temple, at least according to the forums. I don't think there's any actual title for it here. Unholy Cathedral. It is wonderful spot. It's a tough battle. 
but you get some really good items. I mean, that shuriken that never runs out, if you have a ninja that has um, criticals and auto-penetrates thrown items, there's nothing more perfect. Alright. Let's save it one more time. This battle... I spent almost two hours just on this one battle. Holy buckets. It was worth it. Okay, so then from here, um, yeah, we can go to the Rapaxa Wave Camp, or what's called the Forest Clearing if they're not there yet. Um, or, so, you can exit up here to the mountain, which is the same place that I tried to go to where I killed that golem on the bridge and I told you, oh, that's Ascension Peak, that's where the final game is. That's up here. So, you know, basically you're coming around the south or you're coming around the north. Down here is the Rapex Away Camp, which only forms, uh, otherwise it's just called the Wilderness Cleaning. It, it all depends on whether or not the Savant has formed an alliance with them. And I actually, it usually tells you down here if that happens, but I haven't caught that that has occurred yet. So we got a big Hogar Lumen. He's probably going to attack us. Yep. He's now hostile. And this is a perfect Next opportunity battle. to shoot all of our stuff. Destroy. Of course, he runs right up. <laughs> in place. That's a bad thing. Right then. All right. I'm just loading. A couple of things we can do here. First of all, you bellowed. We can buff up. I'm ready for you. I hear you. cast anything on him. Fine. Out of reach. Out of range. Taken care of. Avec plaisir. Out of reach. Too far. Out of I can't range. reach it.
right. That was a lot of damage. All right. Right then. here I'm actually gonna reload and do this again um, I'm not saving I'm loading I don't want to spend two resurrection powders so let me do this and I will be back thank you